shall we lift up our hands and give God a shout of praise? Give God a shout of praise if you are excited to see the first Holy Ghost night of the year 2022. You are not dead, you are alive. Can you give God a shout of praise? Can you please rise up on your feet? Please rise up on your feet and give God all the praise that we are here. If it is the plan of the devil, we should be on lockdown. But we are here, we are not locked down. We are in God's presence. We are locked up because that is where we are seated. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities and power. Can you give God a shout of praise, a hand of praise, a wave of praise? Give God glory. Give God glory. glory. Oh, Jesus. I want us to sing a song to God tonight that we are alive. I want us to sing a song of shout to God tonight that we are here. No matter the things happening in the world, the Lord has preserved us. He is faithful. Not because we are righteous, not by our merit, but by His mercy. Mm. Hallelujah. Makbari wo fele du mare, makbari wo fele du mare, mamokbe wo fele du mare, mamokbe wo fele du mare. Ese o, ha ha ha, aya. Makbari wo fele du mare, makbari wo fele du mare, mamokbe wo fele du mare, mamokbe wo fele du mare, mamujo wo fele du mare, mamujo wo fele du mare. that endures forever our God we give you all the glory thank you for your mercy over the redeemed Christian church of God thank you for your mercy over our lives thank you for the last congress thank you for our father and the Lord daddy G and mommy G thank you for all our fathers laboring with him and mothers thank you for every member of this church we give you glory we are alive to see the first Holy Ghost night of 2022. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, tonight, I appreciate you for this privilege. I am not the most qualified, neither am I the most anointed, but your mercy is a qualifier. Please, tonight, glorify yourself here. Sweet Holy Spirit, call it, call it, and with my Lord. Glorify Jesus in this meeting. Heal the sick. Deliver the oppressed. Set our hearts on fire. And I vow not to take the glory. I vow not to take the glory. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we are praying. If you are excited to be here. Give God a shout of praise. Can we be seated like kings and queens in God's presence. I want to appreciate my father in the Lord. And my mother in the Lord. Daddy and mommy Gio for this privilege giving me. To be here tonight i appreciate all our daddies and mommy laboring with them 
the Lord increase and anoint you more in the name of Jesus. Are you ready tonight? Jesus is ready for you. I'm going to take a scripture and we read John chapter 20, verse 22. That's my Bible text tonight. I want us to read together, please. John 20, 22. Kerosiaka. If you are there, say praise God. Okay. Please, let's read together. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Ghost. When he had said this, he breathed on them. That is, when he had said it, he released fresh air upon them. When he had said this, he gave them fresh air and said, Receive the Holy Ghost. When I began to pray for this meeting tonight, I began to ask God, what is fresh air? Anytime you think of fresh, it means something that is original in quality. Something that the quality is unimpaired, that is not stale. That is not sour or decayed. Something that is not altered. What is fresh air? Now, by the grace of God, my father and the Lord is a mathematician. I'm a scientist. If you check the component of air in science, you will discover that this air contains nitrogen it contains oxygen it contains carbon dioxide it contains argon it contains water vapor now many people are looking at me the way i'm saying these things why if god is saying fresh air he won't say fresh nitrogen if God says to us that he's giving us fresh air, he won't be saying fresh carbon dioxide. How does a market woman know what is carbon dioxide? Now, explain to me how somebody who didn't go to school will understand what is called argon. That is why anytime Jesus is teaching, he teaches in the language that people can understand. So if God is saying that in January, after the siege is over, there will be fresh air. He's not talking of fresh nitrogen. There is something about this air. And can I say to you, from the scripture we read, when he breathed fresh air upon them, he gave them the Holy Ghost. Fresh air is the Holy Ghost. When he breathed upon them, he said, receive the Holy Ghost. So, fresh air. Is the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is ever fresh. It's not stale. God does not need to be updated. He's up to date. Holy Ghost does not, is never Ayakama the quarter. He's ever fresh. Now, if Kabekuta, if we check the scripture in Genesis chapter 1, verse chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. God formed the man from the dust of the ground. And God gave the man a fresh air. And the man became a living soul. What is that air that can make a dead clay become a living man? The Holy Ghost. Ezekiel 37 verse 1 to 9. Ezekiel 37 verse 1 to 9. When Ezekiel was taken to the valley of dry bones. The Lord asked him a question. Can these dry bones live? He said, don't let you know. And God said, prophesy. 
and he caught the wind and he prophesied as commanded and a valley of dry bones became a valley of mighty men what is it that can enter a dry life and make it a mighty life it is beyond oxygen and nitrogen it must be the holy ghost When Jesus encountered his disciples after his resurrection, Genesis 20, 22, he breaked upon them. He didn't give them oxygen. They were already breathing. He didn't give them carbon dioxide. They were already taking the house. He said, he breathed upon them. And he said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 1, verse 1 to 47. Oh, let's do one to four. Act chapter one. Kelebra Sukata. Act chapter one. Verse one to four. Okay, Act chapter two. I mean, Act chapter two. Act chapter two, verse one to four. Act chapter two, verse one to four. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a mighty rushing, a sound from heaven, and a mighty rushing wind, mighty rushing here. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and sat upon each one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. When fresh air came from heaven, the Holy Ghost landed upon men. Can I ask a question? What is fresh air? I can't hear you. What is fresh air? I, I can't hear you. What is fresh air? Have you observed from all the scriptures we read that any time the Holy Ghost come to town, anything dead come back to life? Ah, to come here, When this fresh air entered the valley of dry bones, everything came back to life. I don't care what is dead in your life. I don't care. Can I marry you Is it your business? Is it your finance? Is it your health? Is it your academics? Is it your brain? Anything that is dead, they are coming back to life now. Ah, yaka. I perceive in my spirit there is someone here tonight with a dead body part. A part of your body is dead. Hear me? Check it now. Check it now. Check it now. That part is coming back alive. That part is coming back alive. That part is coming back alive. Somebody shout Holy Ghost. Oh, Sasha Parker. What happened when there was fresh air in the Bible? Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Now, what happened when fresh air came? The first thing that happened is that the people had utterance. And they began to pray in tongues. The days of fresh air is the days of revival. Enough is enough of a church that can pray. A church that cannot pray is a church that is playing. The days of fresh air is the days of prayers. They had utterance. They were not juicy. They, their language changed. They began to speak in a language they don't understand. And they were able to address problems they could not understand. The days are coming on. Trans came. They began to speak with new tongues. Do you believe fresh air is here tonight? Now, hear me, hear me. In case you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, as you are hearing my voice, begin to speak in tongues. Ah, Acts chapter 10, verse 44. Acts 10, 44. Bible says, when Peter was speaking, the Holy Ghost fell upon them that heard him. Now, now, everybody under the sound of my voice, the day of fresh air is the day of new utterance. Everybody in this auditorium, in the whole auditorium, all over the world, now can you begin to release the utterance now? Can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Now, if you are not baptized, receive it now, receive it now, receive it now, because this is what happens when there is fresh air. There is utterance, there is utterance. I can't hear your voice. Make it louder, make it louder. Suze, Suze Kedia. 
Ekurada. Now, if you are not baptized, receive it now. If your tongue is still, receive fresh one, fresh one, fresh one. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Zeduadeke, Zeduadeke, tu makade, makade, wapa. Prembo stadia. Ash. Hey, kukere be to tumba. The day of fresh air, there is utterance. Now, it's time to go back to church and be on fire. Hey! You see your friends, you want to greet his tongues that will come out. You enter a bus, the, the first thing that comes out is tongues. Because when there is fresh air, there is utterance. Haji, Kuka. He that speaketh in tongues, speaketh not unto man, but unto God. Albeit in the spirit, he speaketh mysteries. Can you release mysteries? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Hear me, hear me. If you pray in your understanding, why did they stop prayer of Daniel? Prince of Persia understood the prayer. Baba Ibareketwa, he that speaketh, he does speaketh not unto men. It is God's direct line. Gabriel cannot pick this call. Michael cannot pick. It's God's direct line. Can, can you can you blast in the Holy Ghost? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fresh air. The days of fresh air is the day of utterance. Utterance, utterance, utterance. Now, Jesus. Number two. When fresh air came in Acts chapter 2, verse 5 to 12. Acts chapter 2, verse 5 to 12. What happened? They became a wonder to their generation. Their people said, who are these men? Are they drunk? Hear me. After this Holy Ghost night, everyone who looked down upon you will look up to you. Because why? Anytime there is fresh air, normal people become extraordinary people. Normal people become abnormal. Abnormal means above normal. Ordinary people become extraordinary. Fresh air turn them to wonder. They look at you. Is it not this guy that cannot do well in school? Now, your children will return to school after this Holy Ghost night and they will begin to lead their class. And men will say, ah, I thought you were number 22. Say, fresh air came. Ah, the day of fresh air is the day of wonders. Men became wonder to their generation. Now, you are the one losing in business. Suddenly you return. Suddenly you return, and men are shocked. What happened to him? Fresh air. You are the one that have been single. Nobody is seeing you. I, I agree you are 40 something years old. Nobody is looking at you. But you return. The brother will say, Hello, sis. Bay, where have you been? You ask, I've been here. What have you been doing? You see, I did not see you say fresh air just landed. Anytime fresh air landed, what is not attractive become attractive. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe your airports have been passing you. They look at you, they don't recognize you. It's because you are carrying still air. But the time fresh air landed upon you. Ah, yeah, kutambe. Ah, somebody's a fresh air. No, Martini, what happened when there is fresh air? Acts chapter 2, verse 14 to 37. Acts chapter 2, 14 to 37. Evangelism become easy and souls are one in their multitude. Peter preached a message. 3,000 joined the church. What did he say? It's not about Greek and Hebrew or grammar. It is power. So much of power. The people you have been trying to convert and they are not obeying is because you lack something. In the days of fresh air, little message, mighty results. Ah, if Peter preached, 3,000 joined. Second message, 5,000. Third message, they could look at the number. What was he saying? Bible says their hearts were pricked. Why? He was preaching under fresh air. Enough of still air in our churches. You go to church, church look like museum. Kaba Kenakia. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. There is no difference between church 
and club. Ah, no, no. In case we do service in the mosque, there will be power there because we are the one carrying the power everywhere. Anywhere we enter, power enter. In the days of fresh air, evangelism becomes easy. You enter the market, you shut down a store. Why? Fresh air came. Have you noticed that when a man is using a nice fragrance or a lady, when he enters somewhere, everybody turn. Do you observe? Because of the kind of fragrance, right? When you carry fresh air, souls turn to you. They, they look at you and turn. Why? Fragrance. So much of fresh air. In the days of fresh air, souls are in their multitude. That's why when my father calls utter call tonight, watch, you see, there is fresh air. More than we have seen before tonight. Tonight. Everybody that is not saved here cannot return back home unsaved. Never. Because why? Fresh air. Number four. Anytime there is fresh air, supernatural becomes normal. Act 243. Mighty signs. Act 243. Supernatural becomes normal. Mighty signs were done by the apostles. In the days of fresh air. Now, hear me. Tonight is here. Everyone that is sick under my voice, you are healed. Now, check your bodies. It's not tomorrow. I'm talking. I see somebody here with the crutches. Lift it up. You are. Now, there is a bandage on your leg. Now, lift that leg and begin to walk. There is somebody on which you jump up and begin to walk. A deaf ear begin to hear. A blind eyes begin to see. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. In the days of fresh air, supernatural becomes normal. Everyone under the sound of my voice is here growth all over your body. What is the challenge you are carrying? In the days of fresh air, supernatural becomes normal. You cannot come to camp and go back on the way you came. No! You cannot come with sickness and go back with sickness. No! You cannot come with failure. No, 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 no. I don't care what you carry. Now, it's over. There are instant miracles happening here. Instant, instant, instant. In the old auditorium here, all over Akaba. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, why? There is fresh air here. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Gary Bosom, a deaf is beginning to speak now. A dumb is beginning, ah, a deaf is beginning to hear now. A dumb is beginning to speak now. Blind, see, lame, walk. Ah, that person with crutches, lift it up. You begin to walk. Ah, yeah, yeah. Goiter, disappear. Goiter, disappear. Pile, disappear. Ah, there is a miracle here. There are miracles here. In the days of fresh air, miracles become the order of the day. Miracle is biscuit for God's children. Now, take your own, take your own, take your own, take your own. Somebody with that child that is paralyzed, it's over, it's over. That dead child come back to life. That dead come back to life. Somebody shall fresh air. I see miracles here. Keberukutu. I see somebody with a severe waist pain. It has been there for years. Check it is gone. Hmm. There is somebody carrying problem around the private part. Affinities here. Over, over, over. In the days of fresh air, we will come to church sick. You return back home well. Ah, we cannot be bumping sickness in church. That is why Jesus died. He said it is finished on the cross. I cancel doctor's report here. I cancel doctor's report here. He said it is finished on the cross. Cancer, die, 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 die. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. SS is straight to hey. Carry a better doctor logo board. Mm, HIV gone. In the days of fresh air, supernatural is normal. Is here. See, there are miracles all around. All around, all around, all around. All around, though. Broken bone is mended now. Now, now. Mm. Number five 
in the days of fresh air, no lack. Act 2.45, they lack nothing. They lack nothing. Everybody had. Now, hear me. Prosperity is entering our church. You have been broke for too long. It's over. In the days of fresh air, there is abundance. The least of us are millionaires. Hey! Hey! Every son of Pastor Adeboye, hear me, hear me. You can't be small. Your father is not a small man. Giants don't give back to dwarf. Ah! Prosperity in our camp. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Prosperity. That is what happens in the days of fresh air. We can't be broke. Our camp balance cannot be zero. We are the ones sponsoring convention. We are the ones sponsoring congress. Yes. Ooh. I see somebody feeding everybody in convention. Just one man. Just one man. Just one man. I see somebody feeding everybody in congress. And your account balance is still smiling. Hey. In the days of fresh air, there is no lack. Fat pimp here. Somebody shall fresh air. Let me close. I see some miracles happening here. Huh? I see Jesus seated on the throne. I see his angels moving inside that and on everywhere. I see his spirit walking on your behalf. Hallelujah to the Lamb upon the throne. Come. I see Jesus. Come. Please rise up on your feet. Sit down on your throne. I see his angels moving everywhere. I see his spirit walking in my life. Hallelujah to the Lamb upon the throne. There is somebody having serious debts. God said, I should tell you, between now and February 22, it is cleared. Amen. The last one. What happens in the days of fresh air? There is love and unity in the house. Please don't sit down, please. This is the last thing I'm saying. I want us to do something. How come a fellow Christian cannot put food down and you eat it? You are afraid they will poison you. That is bad bread, not fresh air. Christians are the one destroying themselves. No. In the days of the apostles, they were eating together. Ask yourself, when last did you eat with somebody in church? Can you trust them? We are all suspecting ourselves. No. This is not fresh air. This is bad air. Pastors cannot even trust themselves. Ha! Ah, how did we get here? In the days of the apostle, they were hitting together. When last you did do love feast in church, you are even afraid of the food. You will bless it. Oh God, bless this food, the love of Christ. Sake. Bless it, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. The food from fellow brethren, because the heart of man is desperately wicked. You can't trust your child with somebody in church. They can kidnap the child and tell you they don't know where the child went. Enough. Enough. Can, can we love ourselves? There is ah, a fellow brother cannot come and sleep in your house. If we close one eye, open the second eye. Hey, sister busy. Can I trust her? Blood of Jesus. Oh, ah, ah. church members. Even today, people are killing pastors in church. How do they get here? In the days of fresh air, there is love, there is unity. No competition. 
today you want to outshine your fellow pastor you want to outshine your fellow choir master if your choir friend lead song today you want to come tomorrow and lead your own to be better Error! how did we get here who did us like this who did us like this in the days of the apostles they were going from house to house loving one another but today everybody's a suspect oh. everybody's a suspect oh. everybody's a suspect enough is enough hear me when there is fresh air if i see redeem sticker on your car and you are trekking i park and carry you you are coming from old arena to new arena only you in your car Arrow. you error i agree that there are bad people among good people but if you are doing good god will keep you he said when the will of a man pleases god he make it his his enemy to be at peace with him your son want to marry another pastor's daughter or or, or church sister's daughter you will fast and pray 21 days is he a good person and we call ourselves brethren error why too many bad things too many wrong stories but the people of other religion they love themselves we are the originator of love because god is love god doesn't have love is love hold your neighbor to your left your right hold your neighbor no covid here can we sing this song let me ask you a question. Are we going to love ourselves? Look at the table and say, I love you. Hallelujah. 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 Say, I Hallelujah. love you. If there is fresh air, there is love. Say, neighbor, I Hallelujah. love you. Hallelujah. Hear me? We are members of the same family. Why? Jesus is our master. His blood is running us. Are you a redeemer? Redeemers who love themselves. Woo. Is that true? Hallelujah. We are redeemers. You not dead in love. love. Jesus we is for us. We shall. No. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Let the devil hear. Up. For redeem Christian God of God that is fresh here. No more competition, no more battles. It's not this family is better than this family. Uh, it is, we are all redeemers. Yes. Uh, do you love your neighbor? neighbor lift it up hear me people of God my daddies my mommies my brothers my sisters my friends if there is love there is revival the first evidence of revival is not speaking in tongues is love that is fresh air that is fresh air that is fresh air are you ready are you ready now hear me 
as we are singing this song, miracles will continue. Hallelujah. For this fresh air, for this fresh air, we thank you for RCCG, a covenant church. Thank you for fresh air. Lord, we pray that this revival will not die. Holy Ghost will move all over our churches. There will be power, there will be miracles, there will be revival, salvation of souls, and love amongst our brethren. In Jesus' name we are praying. Can you give God a shout of praise? Can we lift our hands to the heavens and just rise to our feet as we worship the one who is the giver of love, who is love himself. Can we lift up our hands and rise to our feet and just worship Him? Can we lift our hands? Come on God's people, can we lift our hands? All over the house, can we lift our hands and just worship Him? Who, is, who alone is worthy to be praised? The one who sits upon the throne, who the angels in heaven shout before Him and cry out, Holy, Holy, Lord God Almighty, the whole earth is filled with Your goodness and Your glory. Can you just go ahead and bless him?